good evening, sir. Evening, Campbell. May I bring flat and feed in, sir? Yes, do. Come on, Dee Hello, Dee boy. He still doesn't salute when he comes into the operation from Campbell. Does most other things, sir. Good evening, Campbell. Here's the general situation. Group want me to send out an anti-submarine patrol over convoy AL-37, a homeward-bound convoy which is approaching the suspected U-boat area. Gordon has all the details. Here's your form, Green. That's the present position of the convoy. It's at 20 hundred hours, is it, sir? Huh? That's right, and at 0800 hours tomorrow morning, she changes course to 145. I see it. You'll see it on the map. Thank you very much, sir. Call for you, sir. There's a net forecast. What's the weather like, Sean? Oh, it looks fair enough, Johnny. Here's the rest of the day. Hello, sir. Right, nice steady job tonight, Chris. All night convoy escort. What was well, there? I'm afraid so. Convoy AL 37. There's a position 20 hundred hours. That's where we leave it, at 0800 hours in the morning. Yes. You both suspected in the vicinity. That's why we're out there. And is it a large one? It's fairly large. 42 merchant vessels. What time do we be away now, Gamble? I'll be off the water by half past eight, sir. That's fine. You got all your gin, Jamie? All set, sir. A crew are on board. Yes, the RT's working to change, too. Eva Tommy, calling Sandpiper. Are you receiving me? Are you receiving me? Over to you. Over. Hello, T for Tommy. This is Sandpiper calling T for Tommy. Not Sandpiper seven. calling yeah. T for Tommy. Yes. Receiving you clearly and distinctly, strength nine. Night, clearly and Night, distinctly, night. strength nine. Have you anything for me? Have you anything for me? Over to Good you. smiling morn. What sort of a day? Oh, not too bad, I suppose. But it never does look good to me this time in the morning. No, not for me, thanks. I'll buy and have a pipe. By the way, where's that cat? No, not your kind of a cat, video old fool. I mean Catalina. The one that's relieving tea for Tommy. Oh, A for Apple. Oh, she's been up an hour now. She should be about halfway there. I think Campbell's convoy just about missed those U-boats, Bernard. Hmm. Must have had a pretty boring night. Yes, I'll bet they're just about browned off, but now. Hello, Ray. 
rear gunner. You're being relieved from food now. Good, I'll take over. Okay, sir. Tifa Tommy, enemy aircraft shadowing convoy. Well, probably spotting for you, but They better send it to A for F in case he hasn't picked it up. Right up. Hello, everybody. Enemy sub suspected in this area. Keep a good look at
Good work. Get a message out of the base. You have to make one hit. Devils. Just our luck. What have we been doing all night? Don't you think we better have a boat mastered, sir? I don't got any ideas. Charlie always gets the wrong idea. I've got an idea, all right. Just leave it to me. Okay. Your idea at the moment is to keep a lookout for Catalina. Positions. There's our Catalina on the starboard side. That's her, all right. We've had this. We'd better get ready now. Operations room. Controller, one moment, please. Controller Coastal speaking. All right, thank you. Plotter? Yes, sir? Air sweeps three and four have returned early. Have them taken off the board with me. Right, sir. Will you take down sorties three and four, please? Doc, I dare get my breakfast. I'm feeling that way too. We've had a busy night. Wouldn't be too bad except for that radar. Good morning. What's all this I hear about a radar? Oh, boy, I just made it. Well, the Navy had a belated report of a possible radar in Bergen the day before yesterday. So we laid on those searches on the Norwegian coast and also those patrols you see, 5, 1, and 2, in case she tries to break out. Have they any idea of what she is? Well, they think she's a Dusseldorf. Mm. So far, we've only got her up as a query at Bergen on the board. I suppose that's why you're reinforcing the escort in those two convoys 10 and 11 out there. Yes, I thought we'd better be on the safe side, just in case. Any U-boat reports? Yes, a very good attack down in the bay. Looked like a kill. Oh, great. Uh, full report in yet? Yes, the full reports are in. There's a lot of wreckage in there. 
well, there doesn't be anything else unusual except that long net flight, number 12, out to the Atlantic. What's that all about? That was specially laid on for Air Ministry. Uh, it should meet convoy number 15, too. And uh, I've left a note here in the log for you to tell the SASO if they do get a sighting report. Oh, that's all right. I think there's nothing else. I'll take over now. OK. Uh, well, cheer up. Good watch. Good breakfast to you. Cheer up, Edola. So long, Jerry. Enjoy your breakfast. Morning, Barry. Morning, B.W. Looks like a busy day today. With this radar business. Yes, I wonder if she really is at sea. Oh, there's my phone. I'll come and see you in a minute. I know. Trailer Coastal. 905 Squadron. I lost my assistant. Have you had any signal about 905? No, sir. No, we've heard nothing definite about it yet. You're going to move 6 of 678 from Antrim to Kelly Keel today. I see. Must be Dusseldorf. Give it to Plotter, will you? Plotter? Yes, sir? I have an enemy plot for you. Correct, sir. Catalina N of 470 reports an enemy unit. Bearing 358 degrees. E.W. I got the report. From Freddy William, London Orange. 2348. Course, 235 degrees. Speed, 25 knots. Time, 0700. Plot it as an enemy naval force. Right, sir. You've got everything you want? Fine, that's all right. I'll tell the Admiralty and let you know what they want. Right, thank you. Look, 27, I've just had that enemy report in from N of 470. Have you ordered a relief aircraft to take over shadowing the radar? The standby Sunderland from Port Ferry Bay. Good. You are? Oh, thanks. Huey? Yeah, I'll have them. That's enough. Well, I'm going to do some work, blokes. Don't say insult, Joe. Can we have something on the radio, Pete? Something nice and soothing, Pete. I'm not quite myself today. What the hell you got there? The boat's new mascot. Let's have a look. Who is it? With a devilly thing it is. Santa Claus? What's this? A pigtail? No, it's to sling him up in the wardrobe. Lucky old Hitler. Let's have a look, Lou. Cool. Just what he needs. Yeah, give it to me. Chuffy Lou? I've lost a shirt. Shut up. Skipper's coming aboard, Red. So he is. Oi! The skipper's coming aboard! Okay. Right, folks, skipper's coming. Lock the stuff out. I'll give you a hand with the washing up, Pete. A woman's work is never done. Responsible for that? No. I thought so. 700 all signed yes, up. Sir. Morning, Moon. Oh, good Lord. 
<laughs> Pretty fitting end to him, isn't it, Jerry? Pretty well, not the real one here, sir. Lewis? Yes. Suppose you made this. Yes, sir. All right. Jolly good effort. Jolly good. Well, sure, little boy. Give that to Lewis, will you? Okay. Uh, something special on the day, sir? Yes, there is. Now, I want all the crew down in the wardroom right away. Okay. Here Hello. Ask the uh, lads to come down. The skipper wants everybody in the wardroom. Right. Hello, up there. The skipper right. wants you all in the wardroom. What? All of us? Yes, everybody. Is he? Roy? Something special on the day. Hope so, anyway. How's your boots, sir? Morning, sir. Morning, Thank you, Jen. Morning. 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 Mr. Bedding may start up for a time. Yes, I've got all that, sir. I'll tell you the C&C. I think he's on his way down now. Yes, things always happen that way. Still, we've got plenty available, I think. How long will they be changing those bombs? Oh, here is the C&C, sir. I'll ring it up again eight or nine. Here, if you want to do. Goodbye, sir. Morning, Petrona. Morning, sir. How are we getting on? Well, sir, 27 Group are sending off a Sunderland to relieve N of 407 on shadowing. 28 group are sending off a Beaufort strike with torpedoes, followed by Hudson's with bombs. I see. I think we should have to move a Beaufort squadron from Force to Iona in case we get a second chance of a strike on the enemy. He may continue on that southerly course, and in that connection, uh, we should have to arrange for some sweeps in that area in case the shadowing aircraft loses the enemy in a storm. Yes, sir. By the way, when are those strikes going to get off? Now, the Beaufort's ought to be off almost immediately, sir, and the Hudson's will be about an hour and a half. They've got to change their bombs. I see. Well, it looks as though the main responsibility is on us now, and uh, that what we've laid on is only just about enough, and we may have to do some more. Yes, sir. And in any case, I think I ought to discuss it with the Admiralty. Would you get on for yes, me? Yes, sir. This message has come through from Gibraltar, sir. Thank you. I'll never give her. I want you to work out sweeps to intercept the Dusseldorf. And, of course, the shadow is the whole time, and there'll be more later. Does that suit you all right? All right. Well, then, our people are already on the move. All hatches closed. Are all the hatches closed? Yes, OK, Pam. OK, sir. Wait a take. Everything all right, Mandy? OK. OK.
I've spoken to the sailors. And the situation is as you see it on the board. Uh, the Catalina is shadowing. The Sunderland is going out to relieve her. The Beauforts in Iceland with torpedoes are ready to strike. To be followed by the Hudsons with bombs. Oh, and you're going to move that um, Beaufort squadron from force to Iona. Well, I don't think there's anything more we can do. We must wait. And you'll let me know if anything happens. Thanks so much. I've plotted those sweeps. Shall I take them up to the SASO, or do you want to see them first? No, take them straight upstairs. Thank you very much. Very good, sir. Air Ministry War Room, please. Plot a coastal here. I've got details of a strike for you. Sortie number 15 from Iceland. Taking off 10.15. Estimated time of return, 14.55. Nine Hudsons, 1425 spot.
Send it off, will you? formation now, join into line astern. Climb right down on the deck. Boy, this is lovely ground. Now they're coming around. They're flying all up the ship's course. Any minute now they'll be turning into a deck. Hey, it's me. How about some pretty post guards? They're turning. They're turning. They're going in. Blister. We'll go and see if they've bent it. She can get 35 miles in any direction before we reach her last position. That's right, sir. Well, I suggest when we get there, we do a square search. And we'll fly down the radar's last door course for our first leg. Right. I think that's our best plan. We should be there by about 11 o'clock.
we've lost the blighter. Trouble is, since the Catalina turned for home, she's not been shadowed. When's the Sunderland due out there? She ought to have made contact an hour ago. What I imagine has happened is that the distant horse altered course. The Sunderland's doing a square search for her. Oh, I hope she finds her again. Good show, sir. They found her again. Right, Jervis Square. What position does he give? 6105 North, 1410 West. Course 063. Speed 12 knots. By Jove, she's turned for home. Southern, and we've got another force, PR, coming down from the northern, as hard as they can belt. Now, if your aircraft can keep him shadowed and knock a bit more off his speed, we've got him. Navigator calling, Captain. Navigator calling, Captain. We've almost reached the Raiders' position, sir. Right. Fuse the bombs and come on up.
brought in, Henry? One of them going home. She's had two moldies, one near the stern, which have cut down her speed a good deal. Also, several direct hits with bombs, one of which has started a good fire. Iceland are keeping up the attacks, and 27 groups still shadowing. I'll pass on any more I get. All right, goodbye. OPW, what do you want now? All I want is a little information, please. Certainly. We're always at your service. We'd like to know the exact details of the damage you've done to the Lusseldorf. Oh, that will mean the Sunderland going in right close. going in a little closer to observe the exact damage. Stand by everyone. Over. Jamie, I want you to go down to the bomb aimer's position and plug into the intercom and pass on any gen to Mr. Briscoe. You understand? Okay. And Brisk, I want you to get a message pad and take down any information that Jamie will pass up and get a message away immediately. Right out. Jamie, we're going into cloud. I'll give you warning before we come out. Remember, we won't be out for long, so you'll have to get cracking. Okie doke, sir. Right, off you go.
attention, everyone. I'm going to throttle back in a moment, come out of this cloud. When we come out, we'll be over the radar. I want everyone to stand by. Ready, Sean? Ready, Jamie? OK, sir. Right, here we go. Smoking everybody, there's petrol about. No smoking anywhere. Do it, Dan. Go to the midships, will you? And tell her to stand by the front turret. Okay, sir. transmitting one spark from here now with all this juice about it's the most important message we'll have to risk it right sir oh, and send returning to base four tanks hit and then no more transmission what we want. Düsseldorf's been knocked about all right. Darn good report by the Sunderland. The 27 group. Have you sent anything out to escort TL 657? Nothing available. What about that Sunderland from the Australian squadron? The one that landed at Port Ferry Bay last night. All right, you send that. I'll make it all right. As far as we can make out, he must be pretty badly knocked about. We haven't had a jeep out of him since his first distress signal, so of course, Benai may be down in the drink. Well, in any case, we'll keep a listening watch on his wavelength in case he does get his wireless going. Let's see now. He was here and he was shot at. Yes, we've sent her a course to fly. You've got that with the rest of your jet. OK. Then all we can do is fly out on reciprocal and hope we bump into her. Yes. You got your Met report and your recognition signals? Yes, I saw the Met man on the way in. Got everything buttoned up, Dougie? Yes, got it all. Here and here. You got all you want? Yes, sir, I'm all set. Right, you better get cracking now. There's 
sending an Aussie boat out to relieve us. That's grand news. I hope they get a move on. I hope so too. Yes. How's the petrol going, Joe? All right, we've got enough in the middle of town to get us home with. How's Pam Corby? He's all right. He's nearly finished now. Good. You can relax now. I've got those sun sights. Were they good ones? Yes. The position line will cut our track. I should be able to get a very good ground speed. That means you can tell us when we'll get home. I hope so, sir. So do I. Got him? Right. How is he, Mace? We'll look after him, all right. What's it like, Roy? It'll be all right, sir. It'll hold. That'll get us home all right. We always get home. Sit down, Pam. Under your coat. Burning? No, it's... Uh, get some Tanifax in the towel, will you? Oh, uh, well, and the sweater. Uh, we'll soon have you all right. Well, Force MX ought to be in contact with the Dusseldorf by now. We know there are several enemy aircraft active from Trondrum. They're probably looking for your force. Yes, she's close enough home for them to be able to give her air escort, but I see you're dealing with that. Our bow fighters from Badra. They ought to be just about there by now. They've been told to give sighting reports as well. No, that's good. The thing that's really worrying me is our damaged Sunderland. She may easily run into a Yonkers 88 or something like that. Mm. Well, she's got a good sting in her tail. Now. And the only thing to do is to keep on this course and hope for the best. A cup of tea, Pam. Oh, that's bloody nice of you, Lou. There's an aircraft on the port side, Johnny. My God. My God, it's 88.
been hit. What? Huey's been hit. All right, sir, I'll take over. Where they get you? In the arm? Yeah. Come on, let's get over. Jamie! Huey's been hit. Go off and see if you can give a hand, will you? Okay, sir. This'll put me out of action for a bit, Henry. Yes, a nice spot of leave now, Huey boy. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's only right just to the guns. Thank God for that. Hello, Control. Starboard midship's gun. Okay, sir. Okay, Jones. Everybody reloaded. Got new magazines on. Keep an eye open, everybody. Still three aircraft about you now. Navigator, we've either missed her or she's down in the drink. Better work out a square search. Let me know as soon as you've got the first course ready. Hold it, Navigator. We found them. There's a bit of a party on. Action stations, everybody. Captain to all positions. Action stations. In we go. Fine, thank you, sir. What happened to him, Jamie? Oh, he stopped one in the arm, sir. I fixed it up all right. You're all right, Huey, aren't you? Yes. Good. How'd the ball fighters get on, sir? Oh, it was terrific, Jamie. They knocked hell out of them. How many did they get? Oh, well, you know our trouble. We couldn't go fast enough to catch them up. Slow but sure, that's us. Those two Sunderland should be back here about 1930 hours. Oh, that's fine, sir. Sick water, please. Who asked me to put the sail off on, will you? Right, sir. Hello. Marine section, please. 
Look, I'm expecting two... Is that the marine section? About 1930 hours. Now, will you get the flare path lift, Probably please? Probably is on board work. Thank you. German raider Dusseldorf has been sunk. Following upon the attack by the Royal Air Force Coastal Command described in our last bulletin, a successful torpedo attack was delivered by swordfish aircraft of the fleet air arm. The damage inflicted by these attacks enabled His Majesty's ships to come to grips with her, and the final engagement lasted only a few minutes. That's the end of the news. Oh, sure. So the Navy got our message, doesn't it? Huey! Oh, oh, sorry. You don't mind me. That Hudson did get a direct hit on the stern. Yes. So he may have been quite right when he said about three direct hits. Sir. Yeah. Good dog. All right, chaps, don't get up. All right, these are your two lads here. Hello, Huey. Hello, sir. Nice to know you're not going to be in here too long. Well, that's good news, sir. I wondered how long you're going to keep me lying down. Well, here we are. Let's see the chaps. Right here. How are you now, Pam? Oh, I'm feeling quite all right, sir. I don't see why they brought me in here, sir. Well, we must keep you under observation for 24 hours. But you'll have him back in your crew in three days' time. Oh, good. And now's my chance to spot a leave, sir. Leave, old boy. Now you're talking. Leave, miss. There's no leave for you. As a matter of fact, we're going to West Africa. West Africa? No, I'll tell <laughs> one. Ah, <laughs> this week's funny story. There's nothing funny about it. As a matter of fact, I brought the signal on. I knew you wouldn't believe me. West Africa? Too far away. No weekends. You can't go there. Can't go. <laughs> we're going, old boy, and we're going crack of dawn on Thursday morning. Thursday? God. <laughs> <laughs> 